Becky Ashley here for Winchester, and today we're going to talk about shooting a handgun on the move. Before you get to the range to practice this skill, make sure that it's allowed at the range you're going to shoot at. Some ranges do not allow shooting on the move, so you need to double check that before you head out to the range. If you can't practice on the range, you still can dry fire. So shooting on the move, what do you need to know? We're going to talk about three things, safety, setting up, and how you move. So step number one, just like we talked about moving with a firearm and being safe and having safety as our focus, when we shoot on the move, safety needs to be our focus. We can't say that when you shoot on the move, you keep your finger out of the trigger guard because you're going to intentionally be pulling the trigger. But what you do need to be aware of is your muzzle and beyond, and you need to think about having your sights on the target when you pull the trigger. So aside from being safe with your pistol, knowing where your sights are, and taking the shots when you're on target, what you need to think about when you shoot on the move is setting up. Just like all of the other skills we've talked about where we set up, you need to think about your feet placement and what your feet are doing because they're gonna dictate where your body moves toward. So when I set up to shoot on the move, there's two things I consider. The direction I wanna move and the targets I'm shooting at. For the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna pretend my targets are a row on my left side and I wanna shoot them, but I need to move toward the camera in front of me. So I think about my feet. If I have my feet facing this way and I start walking, I'm gonna start moving off to the side. If I have my feet facing this way and I start walking, I'm gonna move that way, but it's gonna be really awkward to shoot at those targets. So I wanna think about my upper body and my lower body being two separate units. So I'm gonna take my lead foot, point it where I wanna go. I'm gonna take my other foot, point it toward the targets. That way, as I move, I have a little bit of a funny step with my walk. However, I'm moving in the right direction and my body is open to those targets. I'm not fighting my own body by being twisted completely. So I can have one foot here, one foot here, and I can get in a good position, aggressive. I'm gonna lean forward, it's gonna look funny. An awkward duck walk is what I'd call it. And I'm gonna be ready to shoot and take nice rolling steps forward. So if my targets were there and I'm shooting, I'm gonna shoot and have that nice kind of rolling step and you'll see that I'm crouched down. <laughs> I'm not standing tall and upright. It's gonna look awkward. However, what is gonna happen is just like any sport, where you have to maintain your balance while doing something actively, you're not standing up straight while you're gonna throw a basketball. You're not standing up straight when you're gonna get a volleyball and hit it. You're gonna be in an aggressive stance. So my stance is aggressive in that I'm forward, my weight's forward, and I'm ready to counter the recoil and to accept the movement by using my legs kind of like springs. My knees are a little bent and I'm hinged. And then I'm gonna keep my hips open so that I can shoot and move at the same time. What you can do is dry fire with your gun and practice the movement without any ammo, just so you see what your sights are doing. And this time I'll do it with live fire. So, you can see that shooting something even small up close is possible on the move. However, you need to be aware of what is an acceptable sight picture or not. Like that one I missed, I should have slowed down my sights forward on the target long enough. One last thing you can try to do is be a tank. I don't mean push things over and blow things up. I simply mean that while you're shooting, your upper body can pivot from side to side if you're shooting on the move, like a tank. My feet don't have to move to shoot here and move to shoot here. I can be facing forward and I can shoot here and shoot here and move and my feet are going to keep going in the general direction I want to go but my upper body is going to pivot. It's just like if you uh, ski at all, downhill skiing, we have upper and lower body separation and it's the same with a lot of sports. So my upper body can do something independent of my lower body but it's going to track to keep me going where I want to go. Now when I walked and you saw me moving, I want you again to be aware of my body position. I'm not standing upright walking and shooting. My body is crouched, I'm low, and I'm moving with careful rolling steps. So I want to keep careful rolling steps, and I want to look at my sights, and I want to practice this with dry fire until I'm comfortable enough to do it with live fire. 
So those are some of the basics to shooting on the move. Make sure if you do this, you practice with dry fire first. If you're going to go to your range, make sure it's okay to do it. And then get out and shoot. And last, I'm sure you know I'm going to say this, make sure you check out Winchester's blogs for more posts on handgun shooting because I'm going to be doing a lot more this year. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube and see some stuff you didn't know you needed to know.